Right, I've been doing some forward planning. Um, I've just tinned up some wires. I'm going to direct solder some of these to the, um, to the flat controller. Um, so I've got a couple of little wires here that I'm going to use for VBAT. Um, so they are effectively going to these two pins here. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it from from the front. Um, oh, take it off. Take it from these ESC pads here, and I'm going to actually uh, take the V bat bat internally and then up to the underside of that. Um, and what I'm going to try and do is enable me to be able to, when it's all soldered, flip this off this way so I can get in if I need to. Um, I've then got these next two wires, uh, a little bit oversized really, but I think they'll do the job. So they're going to be the 5 volt supply from the PDB, so there's a 5 volt out there, uh, and that's going to run out around the front and up onto the top, and I will solder that into the um, signal number 8, which I'm not going to use, because it's a quad, so I'm going to be using these first four, so I'll just use that to feed voltage into the into the flight controller. I have then done a little pigtail here. That's going to be for the, the VTX, which I'm going to be using full battery voltage. So this is going to come out of the back. If you can see that. So yeah, just, that's going to be soldered, soldered on there for the tramp when it turns up. Um, and then I've also just prepared a buzzer. Um, just put some soldered some cables to that and yeah that's going to be soldered on just here I'm not quite sure where I'm going to put this thing yet so um, I've also got a, um, a little capacitor um, to take out the voltage spike somewhere so I think that I'm going to try and fit just in the front there um, uh, so I don't think the camera mount will clash with that. Slide that on there, and that cap sits quite nicely in there. And then um, the camera will obviously go internally in there, so there's, there's plenty of space for super tilt and what have you. So that seems to make sense. So we just need to work out where to put this buzzer, really. I'll probably end up zip tying it on you can see that and perhaps zip tie it on there so I might, I might actually solder that internally as well tie that on there and so yeah so I've got the S bus soldered up there for the uh, receiver I've got um, TX2 on UART2 there for the um, for the telemetry, I've got these soldered up for the uh, the five volts in, so that's onto number eight for the motor uh, motor outputs. Okay, this is where I made a bit of a blunder. I actually soldered to the uh, the ground pad on the outside of the board and the signal pad on the inside of the board when it should have been ground on the outside and the the voltage on the middle uh, the middle rail. So just ignore this mistake. I spotted it later on. Didn't blow anything up. But you'll save yourself a bit of hassle if you get it right first time. So it's uh, it's ground on the outside, and the five volts in in the uh, in the middle spot. And then I've got these four for the uh, for the actual motors themselves, and then so I think I just need the V bat. So like I said earlier, I'm going to do that from this side. Right, I'm going to put the cap on first. Yeah, so I'm stick this on the back here. So yeah, a good multimeter is worth its weight in gold. So that one that's a little Wi-Fi signal is the uh, continuity. 
and that means that when you hit these things together, you get, well, a beep. So, obviously, you should be able to put one of these probes on a positive and one on a ground. And this sometimes gives me a little bit, but I think blip, but I think that's from the capacitor. Plug a battery and see what happens, is what I might do. Seems okay.